All right, so what's up, guys? I'm just kind of playing around with the idea of actually putting the webcam not on the monitor where you typically see it, but actually uh, kind of eye level. Um, got it sitting on a cup right now on the rim of a cup. Um, I mean, the obvious disadvantage of the setup is that if I want to see something on the computer, um, you know, obviously I can't. Well, I, I was going to say it's blocking the screen, but it's actually not where it's sitting. Um, so, let's say, uh, just out of curiosity, let's say I go and, you know, here I am, I'm talking into the mic, and uh, let's say I'm doing a tutorial about something on the computer, so let's see, we even put me down here, we will shrink me, okay, and let's say I'm talking about something, um, I don't know if I can open, let's see here, let's see if I can actually open a second instance of OBS Studio, and I'm thinking maybe I can't. Uh, no. Unless you want to do this, please shut down any of these things. Here, OBS running. Minimize. Launch anyway. And. Okay, so uh, I now have Okay, so I'm now actually running OBS Studio So I got two instances of OBS Studio running. One, the one I have open for demonstration. The second one, the instance I'm actually using to do this video. This is pretty cool because I can actually now show you um, how to change the sharpness on your camera. Um, like I said, my sharpness with this Logitech webcam was defaulting to 128. And it looks much, much better at 255. So here I am in OBS Studio, and I got my video capture device, so I'll double click it. And that'll get me out of the way here. Okay, and as you can see, this is the settings for my video device, my Logitech C930E webcam. So if you go to configure video, It'll pull up this window, and this is the window where you can change the sharpness. Um, I don't know what'll happen if I drop it while I'm doing the video. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's changing in real time or not, but basically when the sharpness was set to 128 which is what it defaults to um, it just it gives you a real blurry picture quality and you know it's the default but I don't understand why the default is to make the camera look blurry so you know I thought it was just a bad webcam but I'll go ahead and increase it to 255 
hit apply, hit OK. And, you know, once you do that, I think the webcam actually looks, looks pretty good. And the other problem I had uh, when I started out, I was using Microsoft's Windows camera app. And from there, I couldn't find where to change the setting. So if you have this camera, I'd highly recommend you go and get OBS Studio. It's free, it's what I'm using right now. Um, it actually replaces a couple programs you might use. Originally I was gonna use Camtasia for my screen capture and after using OBS Studio I really can't see I really can't see an advantage to Camtasia. I'm not saying there isn't one, but you know, just to be able to do a little tutorial like this and screen capture. Um just to kind of show you my my setup here on um, why I keep having to look over. It's actually because my laptop is the monitor or the it's the sec or it's this laptop is what this is the computer I'm on right now. But this monitor is really the one I use when I'm sitting at my desk, which is almost all the time. So uh, I can, you know, take something and drag it from one window to the other. Like this settings window, I can, you know, just drag it over. So, it, it makes for a pretty neat setup, uh, it's just, you know, it takes some time to get everything dialed in, and, um, you know, especially, like I said, the camera settings, and I've, I've just now started to really get into the settings with OBS, because the sharpness setting is under configure video, but it seems like the bulk of the settings, if you right click and go to filters, uh, you can go to add and then add a, effects filters, add, You see earlier I was able to add a color correction filter. Yeah, right here. Um, so you just click right there, go to color correction. Uh, it'll ask you for the name of your filter. And from here too, you can change a lot of settings. Um, I don't think sharpness is on this screen, but you can change the gamma, the contrast, the brightness, saturation, hue, um, and you can add all of these filters from OBS Studio. So it gives you a lot of power. There's a lot of stuff you can tweak. I certainly haven't got it all dialed in, but like I said, just just increasing the sharpness. Um, you know, I went from thinking I needed to buy a webcam to being pretty happy with the one I have. And the other thing is, I updated the firmware on this webcam. I was using 1.1. It's up on, I believe, 2 now. Um, and after I updated the firmware and updated the software, it reset the sharpness setting back down to the 128 default and had to go into OBS and change it a second time. So just something to be aware of um, if you're using this camera. You know, it seems like a nice camera, but uh, you have to kind of kind of play with it. So all right, that's it for this video. I'm going to stop recording and go ahead and post it, I guess.